We're with Samaya Dalmia. She's the founder of SD Wellness and we're here at her gym, one of the finest in Delhi and in India, in fact. Samaya has a master's in sports science and she's also been recognized by the World Economic Forum as one of the entrepreneurs to watch out for in the field of wellness. So it's great to have her with us this International Women's Day. Hi, how are you? Great, Samaya. Thanks for being with us. Lovely to be with you. Tell us all about your story. You have come such a long way from, you know, after you moved back to India and decided to work in the field of fitness. You've actually created a franchise of gyms that have been recognized not only for fitness, but also wellness, uh, their scientific approach, the best equipment. <laughs> Tell us more. I was always someone who was into sport and mm. I just loved uh, the trickle of sweat. I think that's my calling in life. It just, it just makes my day better. <laughs> and uh, I, I got into this profession about 22 years ago. I think uh, what, uh, what the turning point for me was that Reebok had come again. I'm saying 22 years ago. You know, I was a right. baby then. Right. Uh, they come out. You know, they put out this ad in a newspaper. It was over the summer, and I really thought it was a place to go and work out in right. because in India there was no place you could mm. go work out. And uh, little did I realize when I enrolled for the course, it was actually a certification course which they had flown down master trainers from South Africa and you could become a trainer. Right. And two weeks into the course, while I was still at Stevens, it was like a summer stint right. that I did, you know, first year college. I was like, oh my god, this is what I want to do. Cut to that day, I did a master's in sports science. I think that was the best decision of my life uh, to really understand mm. the science of uh, fitness and the science of sport and understanding it's not just about exercise sure. it's the whole ecosystem that you build mm -hmm. around it I got a lot of experience to work with uh, fitness in wellness companies in the West I uh, worked with fitness first in London for a yeah. while understood how the gym business sure. works did it take time to find people receptive to that you know I think I got a little lucky because I was um, I started really like a mom and pop mm. shop it was really I was doing it was something from home I set up this studio uh, where I had two trainers to work sure. alongside me and we built this philosophy of you would come in, we would do an evaluation, we would understand yeah. who you are, we would really understand what your goals are. A lot of times people don't even know what yeah. their goals are besides just wanting to lose sure. weight, right? Sure. Uh, we would tell them, okay, you need to yeah. improve your functional fitness, you need to be more flexible on your mm. hamstrings. And there were many, many takers for that and I think people really enjoyed understanding what they wanted out of their bodies. We've also become, whilst we do this, this yeah. is our philosophy, we've also become one of the largest uh, luxury gym operators, okay. uh, I would say in the country for now, because there aren't many like us who sure. understand hospitality, who understand, we know how to generate mm. revenue uh, from this business. So this International Women's Day, Samaya, the theme has been Choose to Challenge. And uh, given, as you said, you know, you came back, you broke through an industry that was nascent, fairly non-existent. What would be your message, uh, you know, to other young women out there? If you're passionate about something, if you're good at it, if yeah. you actually genuinely believe in it, it truly works out. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us here on ET Now, this International Women's Day. Thank you. Thank you.